on day one, I spawned in as a baby elemental dinosaur sitting high up inside of my beautiful dinosaur valley. I looked around and noticed five other eggs that were surrounding me, each representing an element. Whoa, are these my brothers and sisters? Small meteors then suddenly appeared in the sky and started to shoot down on all of my dinosaurs. Ah, what's going on? My home was quickly being destroyed, followed by a large crash. Now, in the center of my once beautiful home was a large meteorite volcano. And emerging out of it was a meteor army. Landing successful. Soon, we shall rain down our largest meteor yet from the skies. Once that is done, this entire planet will be nothing but a lifeless rock. No! I watched as the meteor men began to swarm my home, killing all of the innocent creatures inside of it and turning my old valley into a battlefield. One of the small meteors then crashed right onto my nest. All of my siblings' eggs went flying outward into the sky. My family! I fell down to the ground, injured and not sure where to go. But thankfully, my mother dinosaur found me. Fozo, my elemental boy, we must leave now if we want to survive. On day two, I was running with my mother throughout the neighboring forest, scared out of my life. There were meteors crashing down from above us. Stay right next to me. I watched as other dinosaurs got hit and all were killed by the flying rocks, followed by more magma men spreading throughout the area. Just then, a very large meteor dropped right in front of the two of us with the main magma leader standing on top. An elemental one? Interesting that you are trying to escape. Did you not hear me? There will be no survivors once my men are done here. Listen to me now. You must unite with the rest of your elemental siblings. Only they can help you master your abilities. You must stop all of this together. My mom then rushed in to fight against their leader. She did everything she could to hold them off. But I can clearly tell he was an expert with his powers and fighting abilities. He slammed down heavy meteor slams into the ground. And my mom was looking weaker by the second. I knew I had to run. So I tried, but quickly ran into fire. Your water, my boy! Use it! I listened to her and concentrated, allowing me to shoot out little bursts of water. Whoa! I have elemental powers! I was able to create an opening for both of us to leave, but when I turned back, I saw that the leader fully killed my mom! No! I started to run away as fast as I could, knowing I had to find the other elemental eggs. I reached a safe clearing inside of a cave and thought I was okay, but a shadowy figure emerged out, and standing there was a caveman. Ah! On day three, I panicked and started to run away, but quickly realized the caveman was scared too. What you doing at home? I'm sorry, I- No more words, leave. The small caveman then started to walk further inside of his cave home. Hey, I can't just leave, I'll get spotted. I chased after him throughout his home, but just like mine, it was destroyed. My family gone, killed by Gideon and his magma men. Gideon, so that's who their leader is. Look, there may be a way I can stop them using my elements, and I'll need all the help I can get. Before the caveman could respond, we heard rocks moving around in a nearby room, followed by magma men emerging out. That's the elemental dinosaur. Get him before it's too late. Oh no, we need to go. Follow me. The caveman led me to a room that held a very dangerous caveside parkour. Uh, here goes nothing. The two of us began began to partake in jump after jump while the magma people shot fire at us from behind. Come on, just a little closer. With the one final jump, we were able to make it on the other side. Yes, we did it. Whoa, so you're elemental. You really are special. All I want is to take down those men. And in order to do that, we do together. My name, Oog. Nice to meet you. I'm Fozo. From there, the two of us began to walk onto a sandy beach. And sitting far off on the other end of it was the the earth 
dinosaur egg. On day four, I made my way over towards the earth egg. I'm so glad I found you. As I got closer, I then realized that there were other eggs surrounding it. Okay, but why? I slowly went to pick it up, but when I got too close, the entire ground beneath me began to shake and one large sandy explosion out emerged a very large prehistoric turtle. Stay away from my children. The turtle began to attack at me. Ah, stop. He had very powerful slams and would even spin very fast to shoot out coconuts at me. Knock it off. I tried my best, but there was only so much I could do with my minuted elemental powers. With one final hit, I was knocked right next to the earth egg. Wait a second, that egg. It's not mine. Yeah, it's my sibling. My apologies. I've been on edge since that meteor crashed down. Everyone is in danger. I know, and my mom is gone because of it. That Gideon is pure evil, and word spread that this is just the beginning. Go ahead, take the egg. I listened and picked it up. Once I did, something strange began to happen. I grew larger in size, gained five more hearts, and now had fully mastered the earth element within me. Whoa, I get stronger when I find these eggs? If so, it important you find the others. Agreed, but first, we need a safe place to keep them. I know just the place. On day five, the turtle brought Uganai over to a secret passageway, which led us straight to a hidden valley. Whoa. This is where I come for moments of peeps. It's the most hidden place in the forest. Thanks for showing us this. Oog and I went to work. I went out and got enough materials to make myself a set of stone tools. I was able to make my very own dinosaur themed home. Perfect. I looked over and noticed Oog made himself his own little cave to sleep in as well. I can't wait to avenge my family and show everyone that even cavemen can be strong like dinosaur. I then went and built up a nice little nest platform for the earth egg. But once I placed it down, the egg started to crack in a large burst out poofed a little earth dinosaur. Whoa, brother! My little earth brother then used a special ability, shooting himself high up in the sky. Wait, I have earth powers too. I used my newfound powers to help bring me up to the top with him. This is amazing. Since we were so high up in the sky, I was able to see a monkey. He was running away in the nearby forest from a couple of the magma men. Help! Oh no, I'll be right there. On day six, I ran through the forest until I reached an opening. The same monkey was there, but he was now cornered by the magma beasts. I can't have you spreading what you know. No, back off. The elemental dinosaur, ha, Gideon, will be pleased with your capture. The magma beast started to charge, and I knew I had to think fast. I had an idea and summoned walls of earth from below me, totally trapping the magma men. Take that. He let us out. Whoa, thanks, T-Rex. Those guys wanted me dead. Why? You're just a monkey. Watch it. I'm also an archaeologist. My name is Arnie, and I know a lot about what these meteor people are planning. Wait, you do? Yep. Follow me. I followed Arnie until we made our way back to Gideon's main magma volcano. And standing there at the entrance was Gideon himself. My people. Phase one is now officially finished. It is now time to start phase two, which will require lots more power. But in the end, when that final meteor lands, it will be worth it. Final meteor? If you thought those other meteors they fire are large, the one they plan to rain down onto this planet will wipe out every single species within a single hit. That's not good. There is one dinosaur that I'm worried about. One that yields the elements. Go out and make sure he is brought back to me. Alive! Oh no, I need to find the next elemental egg. 
Wait, I think I saw an egg like that recently. Ah, uh, follow me. I followed the monkey until we reached a crash site. Everything looked destroyed. Wait, no, 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 no. The egg, it was right here. Hold on, let me check. The monkey used a special type of magnifying glass, making a trail suddenly appear before us. Whoa. Bingo. This trail right here should lead you right to that egg. On day eight, Arnie and I followed the tracks until we found ourselves inside a large civilization that was hidden away from the rest of the forest. Whoa. I looked around and saw lots of different dinosaurs looking sadder than ever, all because their homes had been destroyed. Look. Far off on the other end of the hideout lied the fire egg. There it is. We both went over in excitement. And once I was about to collect the egg, a fire pterodactyl flapped his wings and flew down in between us. You must be runaways too. No, we're here to get that egg. This? I'm protecting it. Just like every other dinosaur that came here searching for a safe hideout. But... If you really want it, I guess you can do something for me to earn it. The fire pterodactyl led me down in his empire to some sort of core room. In the center of it lied a fire orb, but it looked like it was burning out. This core, it used to keep this entire place running, but with the increase in dinosaurs, it's harder than ever to keep the flame alive. Go out and retrieve the never-ending flame form. Then I shall give you the egg. On days 9 to 10, I went out searching for the never-ending flame. The pterodactyl said it would be here, but where? I then realized that I was standing over loose gravel. Oh no! Ah! Ah! I landed deep inside of a huge fire cave. But after a second glance, I soon noticed that I was surrounded by a bunch of... Fire spiders? We are the fire spiders! What are you doing here? I am... Zipping! On second thought, I shall take you to our leader! The spiders brought me deep into their fire throne room, and sitting there was a much larger and oddly cute fire spider. I'm assuming you're here for our never-ending flame, aren't you? Yeah, but for a good cause. I know of Gideon and the troubles he's causing this world. However, us spiders believe in praise. If you want our sacred flame, then you're going to have to earn it. On days 11 to 12, the spiders brought me over to a large underground fire arena. And crawling up to their throne was the lead spider. Welcome to the annual Fire Spider Build-Off! The what? In this competition, both teams will compete to build the best statue of... Whichever statue looks the best will be deemed victorious! The crowd started to cheer, and I looked over to see that my opponent was a small group of spiders. Hey, wait! There's multiple of them! Begin! The opponents quickly started to swarm around their build. They worked so fast together. I went as fast as I could, trying to build up my statue, but I was falling behind. Wait, I have an idea. I used my earth element to quickly make pillars that allowed me to build even faster. And done! Wow! That looks just like me! You win! You win! You, you gotta be kidding me! This sucks! Yes! With my victory, the lead spider led me into a room, and inside, hanging on a gigantic web, was the never-ending flame! I went and picked it up! Perfect! On days 13 to 14, I brought the never-ending flame to the fire pterodactyl. Ah, amazing! Give it here and stand back. I did as he said and watched as the pterodactyl focused so much of his energy into it. And it started to blast the core in the center of the room. The core then began to transform and was now fully ignited. Awesome. Thank you. You may now take 
the egg. I ran over and happily grabbed my fire sibling's egg. This caused the fire element within me to well up and grow in power. I gained five more hearts and now had mastery over my fire element. Sweet. Hopefully with this, you can stop Gideon. He is truly hurting all of us. I don't know how many more dinosaurs I can keep safe here. You know, I think I have an idea. On days 15 to 16, I decided to help the pterodactyl by bringing some of the dinosaurs back to my hideout. With Arnie, of course, I wasted no time gathering materials and building up a house for all of their liking. Thank you so much. No problem. I then went over and built Arnie his very own research site for all of his archaeology needs. Wow, thanks, Fozo. You know, if you ever see meteors along around grab me a sample and i'll see if i can make you something with it yeah i'll be on the lookout i then went over to place down my fire sibling's egg next to where i put the others when i did it hatched and a baby fire dinosaur came out my brother <laughs> My sibling spouted out a beam of flames, and it was so powerful that I, out of pure instinct, did too. Whoa, my fire element really did upgrade. With the increase of animals, I went out of the base to gather some food, when out of nowhere, I was hit by a strong magma power. Ah! The attack hit me so hard that I felt weak. I began to pass out. On day 17 to 18, I woke up in a cell that was holding me above a pool of lava? What's going on? I then looked up. The sea standing in the center of the room was Gideon. I must say, I'm actually a little impressed. The elemental dinosaur. You've tried so hard to unite all the elements and put an end to my plans. But that all stops today. You, you killed my mother. You've been hurting all the dinosaurs for no good reason. Why? Silence. Gideon slammed the ground and I felt the impact all the way from my cage. The media men and I have never had a planet to call home. So why should you? I'll make sure that you don't when I'm done here. He then slammed his hammer down again. And this time the blow was so strong that it shattered the bottom of my cage. Ah! Wait, I'm not taking any damage? My fire element, I'm lava proof. No, no, impossible. I use this moment to swim down and away from Gideon through the lava. On days 19 to 21, I surfaced in a pool of lava outside of his empire. That was close. Just then, I heard voices approaching. Go, search every exit now. Oh no, I gotta go. I started to run away. And as I was, I ran into Oog. What are you doing here? Ooh. Happy you alive. I came to tell you. I think I know where Water Egg is. You do? Lead the way. It took a bit of time, but Oog eventually brought me to a tropical beach with some strange pillars rising out of the sand. What in the world could these things do? Suddenly, water began to flood in, surrounding us, and a terrifying water monster emerged from within. <laughs> Wait! The monster didn't slow down at all and began attacking Oog and I. I knew we had to fight back. Oog went in swinging as hard as he could, and I tried to use my newly upgraded fire element to shoot directly at its head. Because of this, the monster began to transform down into a much smaller water person. Wait a second, you're not Magma Man. Apologies, my vision gets a little blurry in my rage state. We are here looking for the water egg. Do you know where it is? Why, yes, I know exactly where it is. You'll just have to come to Atlantis with me. Wait, what? She then walked to the center of our platform and performed a ritual, causing a burst of blue light. The ground began to shake and in a huge blast emerged the city of Atlantis. 
On days 22 to 26, we were roaming through the lost city with fish people swimming all around us? Ugh, stupid ant breathers. Rude. We continued on until we finally reached a grand throne room where a much larger fish king resided. Visitors, for what reason do you disturb the king of Atlantis? We are here searching for a water egg. <laughs> Do you mean my future pet? The fish king looked over to the side of his throne, and there it was. I've taken quite a liking to it already, so no, you may not have it. I'm not taking no for an answer. I need these eggs to stop Gideon. The king then floated forward in aggression. How dare you talk to a king like that? I know of Gideon and his plans for the land, but that is a problem for you air breathers. Suddenly, a whirlpool of water spun around me, and I was teleported into an Atlantean fishing area. You will now pay for your disrespect. On days 27 to 29, I began a fight with the fish king of Atlantis. He swam up through the air and would throw down attacks from above. Ah! I used my fire element to try and burn him down, but he just kept fighting. Why are you doing this? I only care about what happens to my people, nothing else. As the king pushed off of me, I was brought down to a low number of hearts. No, this can't be it. He was about to deliver his final hit when we both looked out, only to see magma men storming his kingdom. Ruin the city, men! They ran throughout the area, destroying and killing anyone in their path. No, we have to stop them. I ran in the city, facing off with the magma people. I thought I was done for fighting alone, but just then, stay back. The two of us began to attack together. We all fought as hard as we could, and with our combined strength, we were able to take them down. The king looked out into his city and saw the destruction they all had made. These people, they hurt my home, just like yours. You were right. Even in the oceans, we are not safe. We all have to work on stopping him together. On days 30 to 32, we went back to the throne room and the fish king presented me with my water sibling's egg. I grabbed it. And because of this, I felt the element of water flow throughout me. I gained five more hearts and now had mastered the water element. Fish, you will accompany the elemental dinosaur on his journey and make sure he is on the right path to stop Gideon. That is a direct order from your king. Yes, my king. I've got my eyes on you. We started to head back to my base, but as we were leaving Atlantis, we came across a crashed meteor. This is perfect for Arnie. I went over and collected a couple of pieces. Hopefully with this, he can make something good. On days 33 to 30, we made our way all the way back to base safely. I collected enough material from Atlantis that I was able to build him up a nice aquatic home in our lake. Oh, yep, yep, yep. This will do just fine. I then ran over to my other siblings and placed down the water egg. And there she was, my baby sister. Humming -a, humming -a, humming -a, huh? Fozo, I heard you had some samples for me. Yes, I do. Here you go. Amazing. I will start analyzing these uh, immediately. Arnie very quickly picked up the samplings and ran off to do his research. I turned around to see that the water dinosaur was no Nowhere to be seen. But on the ground, leading away from where she was standing, was a trail of water? What the? I followed it along with Ook all the way to where my sister stood, looking out over a large magma outpost. And there, towering over an army of magma men, was Gideon. On days 36 to 38, Oog and I started to sneak into the outpost, being as quiet as we could. We need to know what they're planning. We we finally found a hiding spot to watch as Gideon addressed his army. Good work, my magma men. You have secured for me just what I asked, the lightning compass. And while you've been busy, so have I. As he shouted out, he slammed down his weapon, which caused him to grow in size. That is not 
good. Bozo, they have lightning compass. Which probably leads to the lightning egg. Now, build the beacons, my magma men. Once they are complete, we will reduce this planet to rubble. Beacons? What is he planning? We gotta find that compass. Oog and I snuck around the outpost until I finally saw it. Look, up there, at the top of the tall tower, lied the lightning compass. But spiraling up inside of it were tons of platforms. Okay, keep guard. Here goes nothing. I began to parkour up the tower, but after a few jumps, I heard a click from under my feet. What the? Suddenly, rising from the floor at the bottom of the tower was a large fire creature directly in front of Oog. Oh no. On days 39 to 41, Oog was face to face with the fire creature while I was trying my best to climb up the tower. <laughs> A magical barrier blocked my path, and the creature wasted no time to begin to attack. I gotta hurry. I was jumping as fast as I could while Oog was getting overwhelmed. The creature's attacks were just too much for him. Oog just kept getting launched back hit after hit. Ah! Oh no. Oog! Just when I thought the fire creature was going to land a final blow, I saw him begin to grow. Uh... He was now a much stronger adult caveman. Whoa! They continued to fight, but this time, the fire creature's attacks were barely even scratching him. I finally made it to the top of the tower and collected the lightning compass, just in time to see Oog take down the creature. Whoa! You're so much stronger now. Oh, yeah. I did it. Yeah, you did. On days 42 to 44, we made it out of the outpost and separated as I began to follow the lightning compass. I knew I had to continue onwards, but before long, I stumbled across a desert dinosaur village. It was full of armored ankylosauruses, but something felt off. Please, please don't hurt us. What? No, I'm not here to hurt you. I looked around at all of the other dinosaurs and they all looked so tired and weak. What happened to you all? Our village has not gotten water in days. As I looked around, I saw every watering hole was dried up. Oh no, why? <coughs> Follow me. On days four, 45 to 47, the Ankylosaurus led me to a rocky monument just outside of the village. A pharaoh lives in these lands who would regularly bless our village with rain, but recently he has stopped. That's awful. I need to help you guys. I walked onto the monument and had an idea. I concentrated all of my power on my water element and unleashed a geyser of water that shot up into the sky. Come on, come on! Clouds darkened above the dry desert, and it began to rain! I looked over into the village, and its watering holes filled up rapidly. I did it! Uh, what's going on? The storm clouds above started to unleash multiple bolts of lightning down onto a desert temple. What is that? <laughs> I then looked down at the lightning compass, and its dial was pointing directly towards the temple. Well, I guess I know where to go next. On days 48 to 50, I made my way towards the temple, and as I got closer to the entrance, I heard more cries from someone inside. Where could it be? I continued inside, reaching a chamber where I saw the lightning egg. But sitting on a throne beyond was a pharaoh? I am in grief, visitor. Leave. Leave me at once. The pharaoh stood and began to walk towards me. Weapon ready. No, wait. I came here because... I said leave. He rushed in out of anger, shooting out powerful lightning attacks. I had no choice but to fight back. But I could tell he was in pain. The pharaoh would use his weapon to summon pillars that would attack me and push me back. Ah! Go away! My son is lost. I have no time for this. 
So that's why you aren't bringing rain to the dinosaur village. You've been looking for your son? I have no idea where he went. All I want is for him to be safe. All right, Pharaoh. How about a deal? I'll find your son if you give me the lightning egg in return. I agree to your terms, visitor. On days 51 to 53, I went out and searched the desert for any sign of the pharaoh's son until I saw a huge magma maze. The lava from it was slowly seeping outwards and towards the desert. Could he be in here? I ran into the maze without a second thought, jumping through obstacles and searching my best. As I continued on, I spotted a powerful looking magma minotaur. Where are you, you little pharaoh? So... He is here. I gotta find him first, but I can't be spotted. I kept going through every part of the maze when I noticed that a part of the wall was cracked. Huh. Using my earth element, I forced the crack to open wider, revealing the younger Pharaoh. <gasps> hey, don't worry. I'm here to get you out. Oh my, I was just exploring when this maze just landed on top of me like a meteor. Now that scary magma minotaur is trying to kill me. That will not happen on my watch. On days 54 to 56, we were running as fast as we could out of the magma maze. We need to find the exit. Come on, this way. We entered what looked like the maze's center room. Just then, the powerful magma minotaur came around the corner and saw us. Aha, there you are, little fella. And you, the elemental dinosaur. You know about me? Oh, yes. Gideon has sent a countless number of his magma army in search of you. Well, here I am. I tried to blast the minotaur with my fire element, but he just ran right through it towards me. We began to fight as he would pummel me with his giant fist to attack. He was incredibly strong, and when he hit me, I lost so many of my hearts. Ah! <laughs> More of my magma kind are being spread around the world as we spike. Each media brings us closer and closer. The Minotaur did everything he could to try and take me down, but I wasn't going to give up. I unleashed a torrent of my water element, dealing a massive blow, fatally knocking him back. <coughs> Gideon's plans are already in motion. His next phase has already begun. The beacons. No, we need to get out of here now. On days 57 to 59, we quickly left the maze and safely made our way back to the Pharaoh's temple. The Pharaoh's son ran to his father with so much joy and the dad looked so relieved. We did it. Thank you, kind visitor. As for the agreement to our deal, you may have the lightning egg. I ran up and grabbed my sibling's egg, and this caused the lightning within me to grow even more powerful. I gained five more hearts and now had mastered my lightning element. Awesome! These magma people are getting out of hand. If they succeed in their goals, my son won't have a world to live in anymore. I know. I won't let that happen. On days 60 to 62, I brought the reunited Pharaoh family back to my base. I had to keep everyone safe until Gideon was gone. I gathered enough materials in the desert so that I can build them up their very own desert temple to stay in. I cannot thank you enough, visitor. Call me Fozo. After that, I went over and placed down my lightning sibling's egg, hatching another baby dinosaur. Look at you. <laughs> the skies above our base began to rumble, and lightning flashed as I felt my instincts kick in again. A flow of electricity surged through me, and I let out a roar of thunder. Oh, oh, Fozo, you're back. Come here, quick. Arnie motioned for me to follow, and I saw that he was working on the meteor sample I gave him. So, something strange is happening to the meteor fragment. It seems to act as if it's alive? Like it's calling to something. That's strange. Huh, yes, very. Here, why don't you give it a try? I made it into something a bit more pocket-sized. I picked up the meteor fragment, and because of this, I was pulled away into a 
dark vision. On days 63 to 65, I was pulled into a strange starscape area. Am I floating in space? Suddenly, appearing out of thin air was a huge person that looked like was made out of stars. Welcome to my realm. Your realm? What? Where are we and who are you? I am the stars around you. I am the galaxy. Whoa. I have brought you here to aid in your quest to stop Gideon before he succeeds in his efforts. Why do you care? Why help us? He has destroyed many planets out of pure jealousy of his own. If we don't stop him, then not only your planet will be destroyed, but countless others after. And as the dinosaur that wields all the elements, you must be the one to stop him and save the world. With a wave of his hand, the galaxy created an image for me to look into and see a snowy tundra. This area is not far from where you are now. Go there and you will find your ice element. Now save the planet, dinosaur, and stop the magma men. On days 66 to 68, I left my base and was searching for the tundra when the air around me started to heat up and the sky started to turn red. Far off in the distance, I saw him, Gideon. He was standing on top of his empire, surrounded by glowing red beacons. He started to grow even larger in size as he called out, Yes, yes, the meteor shall be here soon enough. I looked up and saw that in the red sky, a giant meteor had appeared. No, I have to stop him now. I rushed in towards Gideon, but he had multiple magma men guarding him out of my way. I used my newly upgraded lightning element to take out all of the magma men in one blow, but the flash of electricity alerted Gideon. Gideon jumped down, leaving his post, causing him to shrink down to normal size. It seems the elemental dinosaur has finally decided to show himself. Are you going to run away again or die? He charged in and struck the ground with his hammer, causing a massive eruption of earth and magma. He was extremely powerful and began to attack me with all of his strength. I tried to fight back, but he was far too strong for me. I can't take him down. Is this it? Leave him alone. Out of nowhere, a chunk of ice flew in the air and hit Gideon, causing him to freeze in a chunk of ice. Whoa, where did that come from? I looked back and saw a snowy golem coming towards me. Hurry, we don't have much time. That won't hold him for long. On days 69 to 71, I ran, following the golem into the snowy tundra. When we were far enough, I took a second to look at my surroundings and noticed almost everything was destroyed. Those magma men have shown me and the people of this tundra no mercy. This place used to be a frozen paradise, but now we will be lucky to survive another week. I saw more golems that looked so weak and hurt. Their home is almost completely melted. We continued walking deeper into the tundra and to the base of an icy mountain. I came looking for you because I heard about the elemental dinosaur being the only hope for saving my home. So, why did you bring me here? Up there, high on the mountain, is the ice egg I know you are looking for but it is guarded by an ice dragon. On day 72 to 75, we journeyed further up the mountain until I saw a point where the path reached over and beyond an ice chasm. As I continued to walk on the path, I felt the ground start to crack below me. Ah! I jumped back and watched as more blocks began to shatter. This is where I leave you. The rest of the path is your own. Okay, here goes nothing. I began to sprint forward as fast as I could over the chasm as ice cracked all around me. Parts of the path were evenly split apart and I had to jump between them. Whoa, almost there. With one final jump, I leapt towards the final part of the snowy path and just barely made it. Yes.
In my excitement, I didn't even realize that I ran up right to the entrance of a large den and seemingly awoken by my presence was the ice dragon right next to the ice egg. On days 76 to 80, I stood face to face with the ice dragon. Have you come here to slay me? No, I came here for that egg. Oh, yes, I am the protector of these lands. I would do anything to keep those golems safe. So, we're in agreement then. Yes, you will need all of the power you can get to stop Gideon. But who's to say that you'll even win with the mastery of the ice element? I've come too far to not try. Oh, very well. But first... The dragon leapt forward, landing right in front of me. You must be deemed worthy! On days 81 to 85, the ice dragon took to the skies and began to charge at me. He would shoot his icy breath, damaging my health a lot. Ah, knock it off. I tried to fight back, shooting back every element I could. Even my fire wasn't hurting him. Come on. Not only did he summon gusts of icy cold snow, but he would also knock me back with his roar. You think you are worthy? I am. My inner rage began to build up. I knew that all these people were counting on me. I can't let them down. I shot out my lightning straight at the dragon, hurting him a lot. Then, while stunned, I would shoot him with blast after blast of fire. Take that. With one final hit, the dragon admitted defeat. You are worthy. With his permission, I went over and picked up the final ice egg, transforming me into a fully elemental dinosaur. I gained 10 more hearts and felt stronger than ever. I did it. On days 86 to 90, I was making my way home. But as I was, I took quick notice of the terrain all around me. The skies were very red, and the meteor was now about to hit our world. No, I need to stop Gideon, and I need to do it now. On days 91 to 94, I rushed my way back home, only to see all of the animals freaking out. Bozo, the meteor, it's about to hit. None of us will survive that impact. I know, which is why I'm going to go and stop him. I hurried back and placed the egg with the rest of my siblings. Once I placed it inside, it hatched, only to reveal the final elemental dinosaur. I looked around and saw that all of my siblings had now been united. Now that all of you guys are safe, those magma men are done for. I was about to leave, but then noticed that all of them began to form around me, each bursting out a beam of their element. What are you guys doing? In a huge elemental burst, I grew even larger and was now a massive elemental dinosaur. Awesome! Fozo, we must leave now! On days 95 to 99, Oog and I rushed to a clearing, only to see Gideon's main empire had fully taken over my previous home's surroundings. All of the water was lava, and there were now countless magma men around the area. In front of the empire's main volcano was Gideon, addressing his army. The meteor, it's almost here. These creatures are too late. No, the two of us rushed in, catching the magma men's attention. They all began to attack us and shoot fire, but with Oog and I's increase in health, they didn't stand a chance. Time to see what new ice ability I've got. I was now able to summon icy chains to freeze them in their tracks. No, no, stop them. No. They were trying their best, but with all of my elements combined, most of them were taken down. No matter. You want a real fight? Fine by me. Gideon ran inside of his volcano, and I chased directly after him. On day 100, Gideon and I were face to face in the core of his volcano. Stop this, Gideon. Stop. No. This meteor will land, and your planet will turn into a wasteland. Just then, the floor began to rumble, and smaller meteors began to fall from above. The meteor, it's about to hit. Look, I know you didn't have a planet to live on, but that doesn't mean you could just take others away. Enough. 
You shall die! Gideon had charged in towards me and started to attack. He was the strongest foe I had ever faced yet, using his pure magma energy to greatly wound me. I tried my best, using all of my elements to counter him, but I could tell he was very strong. No, I can't lose. Give it up, you stupid beast. I've killed your mother, and now I'll kill you too. My mom, she believed in me. I fought back harder than before, now using my elements at a much faster rate. I could tell with all of them combined, Gideon was starting to get overwhelmed. Stop this! Stop it! With one final elemental hit, the magma leader was defeated. The skies returned back to blue, and their meteor was now gone. We did it. The world can live in peace.